Hi, everybody. I am so excited to be here with Larissa Olson. Miss Larissa Olson. And we're standing up. You know why? No. They keep you on your toes. That's right. <laughs> Always got to be ready. Um, okay. So, Larissa, um, you started with the team, what, about? Almost two years ago in March. Almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, what were you doing before then? I was on a different team. Okay. And you were in real estate how long? Two years. Two years prior to that. That's right. And you moved here from, you've been in the Woodlands then about four years. Six and a half years. Okay, six and a half years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you moved here and from? We moved here from Denton. And I love Denton. I love the Dallas area. It feels like home there. And so that's where I had my family. I got married there. I had my family. And uh, my husband uh, voluntarily took a promotion down in the Houston area. And you weren't sure about that at, no. up front, but... Mm -hmm. You love H-Town now. I love it. It's a place I never sought myself, you know, saw myself living. And it's somewhere that I just, it's really, it's really grown on me. And I have a, a faith community here. I have family here. I have friends here. And I really have like a really strong village here. Well, we're happy to hear your roots are here. And you got into real estate here, not, you didn't start in Denton or anything. No, I, mean, I started just here. Just continuous here. Okay. And uh, why did you get into real estate? I was a teacher for 12 years okay and I had to resign from my job to come here to follow my husband here and uh, there was no child care when I got here so I didn't get a job right away and I had always uh, my husband and I had bought and sold several homes together and I just loved the process and the excitement it is it is daunting and stressful but um, thankfully I had good agents to model how seamless it can be. And so it was something that was always on the back burner for me, mm -hmm. but I never thought I could do it or never aspired to do it because I loved children so much. And so when I was at home with my youngest, I started taking my classes. And as soon as he was in kindergarten, I hit the ground running and it's just been the best thing that- It's a very rewarding it's career, so rewarding. isn't it? It's we so rewarding. It's so rewarding. We help people move forward. But what's the, what's the stressful part? The stressful part is, you know, for the for the clients, it's actually for the clients either whether you're selling your home or buying your home. As a seller, you know, you want your home to be in its best shape and, and you care about what people think. And, you know, feedback sometimes is, is great and it's wonderful, but sometimes it can be hurtful. And so you that's stressful for the seller. And then for the buyer, um, it just you know, change. Just, change it, you in just general, change. It's hard. Right. It's just a big change. Some people are moving for happy, joyous reasons, and some people are moving for sad reasons or things that, that are beyond Job their control. Location, those things, right? right. Yes. Things that are beyond their control. And so it's really important to have someone who loves and cares about people. And I love children. And so it, it was hard for me to make that transition because I, I think children are the best people that walk the planet. And I thought, you know what, um, if I can't good. help children, I can help their families, you know, and that, that was my ministry. That was what was my calling. And, um, and you know, it, it is flexible in the mornings and I get to take my kids to school because real estate doesn't get going till about, you know, showing homes. I'm a buyer's agent. So showing homes, we, we typically don't go in there at eight in the morning, <laughs> right. you know, it's about right. nine, nine thirty. 30. And so I get to take my kids to school every day, and I just, to me, that's a big blessing. So I'm, I love it. It's something I never thought I would do that I love. Well, loved. it shows. It shows because you have that great level of empathy. Of empathy. You're the lover on the team, aren't you? I am. COVID has been hard for Larissa. It has been hard it's because so she hard. wants to hug us. I mean, even right now, we're a little bit close here. So anyway, but. Um, she wants to hug on everybody, and that's just really a genuine trait, a genuine trait, because I know you have your client's best interest at heart, and um, and we're a great advocate for our clients, right? Selling and buying, right. as you mentioned. What's the challenge right now in the market? Uh, low buyers. inventory. It's a seller's market, so very low inventory. Everything that pops up on day zero is already has multiple offers. Um, you know, more than five at least is what I'm seeing in the market. This is where strategy, expertise, mm -hmm. all of that experience really comes right. to play, right? Because right. it's more than just price. There right. are ways that we can kind of work our way in and win out those multiple offer situations just by our relationships with the other agents in the market. Right. Um, that's where I say character matters. Um, and every blank in the contract, knowing what it means, right? Right. We've had to, as a buyer's agent, you know, you want 
we want to check those boxes to where it gives our, our buyers a back door to get out of the contract if they need to. And in multiple offers, we're, we're really having to get creative on how to protect the buyer, but also how to win and protect then, the buyer, protect the buyer, but also win the deal because they really do need a place to live and they love this home and they're, they're attached, they're emotionally attached after they've been there once or twice. And I'm just going to weigh in real fast. I'm going to balance this because I'm protecting the seller. Okay. So sometimes I'm across the table. I've got you That's sellers. Right. I've got you covered. So anyway, um, well, it's wonderful and it's wonderful to have you on the team Thank you. and probably something that people wouldn't automatically detect by your last name, is that, where are you from? Where were you born? I was born in Eagle Pass, Texas. So it's a little town on the border of Texas and Mexico. And three of my grandparents actually came over from Spain. One came over from Mexico. And so since I grew up on the border, I, you know, when people ask me, well, where are you from? Cause you don't have really an accent. Uh, but my last name is Rodriguez. So that's my maiden name. And I'm bilingual in, and I'm English and Spanish, and so I taught bilingual education for three years, and uh, and so I'm fluent in Spanish, and people ask me, well, where are you from? And I always say I'm Mexican, because it's just more fun, and I grew up on the border, <laughs> and uh, so I feel more Mexican than probably I do Spaniard or Spanish, uh, but it's it's my roots, and it's where all the love and the hype comes from. to all of our Spanish-speaking people out there. Okay. Estoy muy agradecida estar aquí con Joan Johnson Real Estate Group. Me alegro mucho ayudar toda la gente que necesita comprar una casa. And what I just said is I'm so grateful to be on the Joan Johnson Real Estate Group team. And it's a pleasure and an honor to serve people that are looking for homes. Home. Thank you, thank you. We love you, Larissa Olson. And happy 2021 to everybody. And we are off and roaring. Dance. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, what am I doing here? So you, yeah, you got it. Yeah. You, you got better shoes you, than I do. You just hit, you just gotta use your hips like Bruno told me only from Dancing with the Stars. Just move oh. your hips. Okay, now I'm really messing up. You're intimidating. You're perfect. Me.